Whenever I see Sailor Moon merchandise announcements or pop-ups that are only available on mainland Asia, I always try my best to figure out how I can purchase those items. Now, usually I have to go through a proxy or a personal shopping service myself in order to get those items shipped out here to the United States. Unfortunately, because it is international, sometimes I can't get everything that I would like to purchase from these international retailers, but I do try my best. So today, I have a very big haul of items that I have purchased internationally from places like China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And I think the Philippines is in here too. I'll put the proxies that I used down below. They're very reliable at time of recording and I've been using them for quite some time as well. So hopefully you'll be able to find some of these items from those proxy services and add them to your own collections. Let's go ahead and get started. This first item is out of the box because I have already used it. <laughs> this is from P&G Design and it is a coin pouch. Now coin pouches are extremely useful when you go to Japan because you end up getting so many coins whenever you pay in cash at all these different places. I end up using all of my coins at Gashapons. I always try to save up all the big coins and then just use them all on the last couple of days on Gashapons so that I can get some really cute little items that I can gift or that I can keep myself for my own collection. I really like these silicone type material coin pouches because they hold the coins really well. It's enclosed and it's also very easy to see what coins you have in here because it's not cloth, it's not falling in on itself. It's kind of spring loaded. So I really, really like these kind of coin pouches. You're in luck too, because now you can find this coin pouch at the Sailor Moon store in Harajuku. It's not available online. So if you want one online, you can go through the proxies. But if you are in Tokyo, hit up the store and see if they have one of these in stock. Ever since the store got renovated in Harajuku, they have started stocking mainland Asia items, which I think is so cool because a lot of those items I either skipped over or didn't know about their announcements or releases. But then I saw them in the store and I was like, what is this? I wore this hoodie on my last trip to Japan. I love the lavender color. This is from a brand called Chocolat or Chocolat or Chocolate. I'm not really sure how you say it because it's spelled differently than the actual terminology for chocolate. Let's just call it chocolate, why not? This is a very nice warm hoodie. It was super comfortable to wear when I was on the plane going out to Japan. So I was wearing this thing constantly. Didn't smell too good when I came back home, but man, this thing got me through a lot of cold times on those planes, I might say. <laughs> this is a luggage tag. Now I have had plenty of luggage tags to show you this year because it's one of those items that I do try to collect many of because I use the crap out of these things. I always end up using these. I sometimes lose them at airports, especially if I t have to check my bag, but I always try to have a few spares. So this is the luggage tag that I have recently got from GHL3. I will open this since I do intend to use it. It's got this beautiful galaxy print on Luna's silhouette on the front gold foil crescent moon. It's made out of a nice like pleather material, nice plasticky pleather material. And it does have a label on the interior for you to put your information so that your luggage does not get lost. There was a collaboration that happened between a brand called Brothers, which I believe is a baseball team maybe, but they made this very cute muffler towel. And I really wanted to add this to my collection because this is the kind of piece that's, it's super soft and pretty. Yes, you could use it as a muffler towel if you wanted to, but you could also hang this up and display it like a long tapestry or a poster. So I really like it. I will probably display this maybe over, maybe over, oh, I could put it over one of my doors. That would be cute. Wouldn't that be adorable? But look how nice the print quality is on this very cute brother's muffler towel. It's designed really well. It's a nice like high quality fabric and it looks really pretty. I love it. And I love that they're all cheerleading for the, I, I guess it's the brothers team. <laughs> it's so cute. Somewhere in this pile, I might've already showed you previously, but somewhere in this pile, I have a baseball to go with the brothers muffler towel. It's such a cute collaboration. I just, I, I needed to have the things. This is also from the Chocolat collaboration. This is a light pink 
colored sweater. It's got almost like a terry cloth kind of feel to the interior of the sweater, so not something that's super, super soft. But the art on the front is designed really well, and that's why I wanted to grab it. I got this in a size small. It looks like it might be a little snug, but that's okay because I have a bunch of sweaters that are way too big for me that I just kind of feel like I'm swallowed in. So this one looks like it's gonna fit just perfectly. Okay, let's chat about Oxygen. Now Oxygen, or O-X-G-N, is a brand that did a collaboration a while back. I never reviewed any of their products because I didn't purchase any of them, but I saw these for sale through a proxy that I follow on Instagram, and I thought, shoot, why not? I mean, they have them in stock, so I might as well try these out and see if I like Oxygen. So this shirt is a medium. It looks pretty big, so I could probably wear this as a dress. I think it is supposed to be like a shirt dress because it is very, very long. But we do have some cute art of Sailor Moon on the front of it. And we also have the English Sailor Moon logo on the sleeve right here. And it looks like the print quality is done well on here as well. I don't know if this is going to tear over, over time, but it doesn't look like it will. So it's gonna be something that I'll have to test out once I start wearing this. That was in a medium and I also picked up this cute it's almost a crop top, almost, but this is in a small, and this is from the same company, the same collaboration from Oxygen. So this is just a cute, almost peachy colored shirt, like a light pink peachy color. And it's got this white outlined Sailor Moon on the front of it. Quite simple, but I think that these will look really good with a lot of my louder items that I got from Black Milk. I do love having an assortment of bags. I always have bags on this channel, don't I? This is a it's like a gym bag. This is a great little gym bag or a nice little duffel bag. It has plenty of space on the interior as well as the exterior for all sorts of different accessories. For example, we have a little key ring here where you can put your carabiner or put your keys or whatever you want on the front of that. There's a special compartment on the side of this gym bag specifically for like your dirty clothes or your gym shoes. You could put your gym shoes in here, slide them in here so they're not dirtying up the rest of your clothes. It's a special little compartment just for those things. Then we have the interior, which is just one very big compartment. One of the features I thought was cool is they have this, it's like a see-through baggie for all your liquids. And you can actually rip this out via Velcro. This bag does come with a shoulder strap as well, so I can easily carry this to the gym or if I wanted to use this like as a carry-on when I go on an adventure then I could bring this with me. I really like the design of this and I feel like I'm gonna use this pretty often. Oh, I probably should have gotten two. I'm gonna destroy that thing in no time. Okay, I don't have many plushies, but this is a plushie that I really wanted to get for my new collection room. Uh, specifically, I wanted to put this on this really cute chair that I got. I can't wait to show you it. Ah, oh, I can't wait to give you my room tour. Subscribe for my room tour. But this is a pillow. It's a very cute pillow. It's super, super soft. It's almost like a velour type fabric. It's so nice and velvety. I love it. But it features Sailor Moon's Eternal Moon article on the front of it. On the back, it says Sailor Moon Cosmos. So we know that it's one of those products that came out for the movies. Oh, it's so comfy. I wanna sit on it. You know, the older I get, the more I wanna just sit on memory foam all day long, especially if I'm sitting at my desk. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh, my husband does not know what's coming. We share a car right now and uh, I like getting car accessories, especially Luna ones. Here we have a lumbar pillow. It's for your car. And this is a seatbelt cover that features Luna. <laughs> also for your car. So you put this on your seatbelt strap right here so it's nice and comfy on you. And you can put this behind the bottom lower part of your back to make it super comfy whenever you're going on long road trips. I'm going to keep these and use these next time we go on a long road trip. He doesn't even know. <laughs> Next time he gets in the car, it's just gonna be filled with like Sailor Moon accessories. He's gonna be like, since when did this car become a Sailor Moon car? I don't know, it just, it just showed up one day. Weird. It's okay though, he doesn't really mind. Here we have a very cute hard case or a trunk, if you wanna call it a trunk, a little miniature trunk. It could be one of those like makeup carriers, like a little makeup trunk if you wanted it to be, but it's nice, it's very nice. One of the details that I noticed on this when I took it out and I did not notice when I purchased it online is that there's a luggage strap. If you wanna take this with you and use it as a carry-on, you can put it on your suitcase, on the handle for your suitcase and just 
slot it down on your suitcase. I think that's pretty cool. So this trunk has two zipper pulls on it, which I appreciate. And we've got plenty of room for like an overnight bag if you wanted it to be for overnight items. There's a nice big compartment on this side. We also have a zippered compartment with mesh right here for all your liquids. And we also have this nice big compartment on the second side. So no room is taken up for anything else in this little trunk. It's specifically for you to fill. What makes it Sailor Moon? Well, that right there. That's it. <laughs> Just a silhouette of Sailor Moon Eternal and it says Sailor Moon Cosmos down at the bottom. This is a beautiful wood block art print with a canvas piece on the front of it featuring Eternal Sailor Mars. Now these are now available at the Sailor Moon store so I also picked up Sailor Pluto and Sailor Moon from the Sailor Moon store but this one was sent over from the proxy that I used for the rest of these items. Nice little gift. This is another really cute little gift. Some masking tape which I always appreciate. This masking tape, it looks like it features the inner guardian. So can't wait to use that, super cute. I'm not wearing masks as often these days, but now and then I do find a reason to use them. So I do appreciate having some spare masks on hand. And luckily this proxy always sends over a few different ones. There's a Pokemon one, that's so cute. We have these Sailor Moon ones, a few more Sailor Moon. Oh, Eevee, Eevee's my favorite. Some more Sailor Moon. <laughs> what? That's so cute. Look at the little Charmander. That's adorable. And another Sailor Moon one. I love my Emma boards. So I got a couple of Emma boards that were released in China. These Emma boards are really beautiful. And I would love to see the Sailor Moon store come out with Emma boards that looked this high quality. I really like the yarn that they use. I love that it has bells at the bottom. It's a full print on the front. Lots to like about these Emma boards. Of course, the back of them are blank so that if, if you want to write a prayer on here or a wish and then leave it at a shrine, you totally can. But I never use my Emma boards. I always use these as decor in my studio, in my collection room. This is a ticket holder. You can put your tickets in here or you can put your receipts in here. If you need to run expenses by a company that you work for, you can stick all your expense receipts in here. I really like having these on hand when I go travel because they keep little items items that I might collect like stickers or little cards. They keep them pretty safe and secure. So it's really nice to have one of these whenever I travel to Japan. Okay, I had to get this sticker set for Sailor Moon Cosmos. I have a lot of chibi sticker sets and given that this one was for Cosmos, I was like, I really want to have these for my collection. So I'm super happy that my proxy had these in stock and I was able to collect them as well. Ooh, I wonder if Cosmos is in this set. We have Saturn, Mercury, Neptune, Fighter, and Pluto. Okay, no Cosmos, but we do have the Sailor Starlight, so that's pretty cool. We have three very cute photo prints that came out from one of the pop-up shops out there. You can usually get these for very inexpensive prices from Combini or convenience stores. They have machines inside of them where you can put in like a hundred yen or a few hundred yen and get these things for really inexpensive prices and they're printed on demand. The only reason I know that is because my friend is very into J-pop and apparently you can do that for a lot of like J-pop singers. I don't know if that's exactly how those came out, but that's what I'm familiar with. Okay, and here we have a card collection. So this is the front of a binder that features a bunch of different cards. Here's the interior of this card collection binder and the back of it. So it's pretty simplistic. And of course it's Sailor Moon Cosmos. So it features all the characters from Cosmos. And this did come with four different cards. I believe that these were random. So the ones I got were Venus, Mars, Moon, and and Chibi Moon. They're so adorable. It says these are not for sale, so I'm assuming that these were some freebie items that you could receive. So I have done unboxings of these type of items before, so I'm not going to show you the full setup of these in this video, but maybe I'll post a YouTube short or a Instagram reel uh, defining how to put one of these together. These are Chinese lanterns. Uh, I have shown you before how to use them how to set them up and what they look like when you light them up. And they're really, really cute. It's such an adorable accessory to hang in your collection room. So I really like having a few of these in my collection room. I currently only have one or two that I've collected. So these were a couple of new designs that came out in the past year for I, usually around New Year's. So I got one that features Sailor Moon with a crescent moon at the top. And this one features the inner guardians. The Chinese lanterns are just so cool when you unfold them, expand them, and 
you turn on the light and see how the lantern is illuminated. It's very, very pretty. Now I have about a million mouse pads that are Sailor Moon, but I always need more mouse pads because I dirty them up. I use them constantly. I might spill coffee on them. Potato chips, you never know. I eat at my desk sometimes, it happens. So I like having extra mouse pads. These ones are kind of small though, so I might use these for something else. Maybe I'll just use them in my room as like a part of the display, as a part of my collection. Maybe I'll use them downstairs in the kitchen, who knows? But these are a couple of really cute mouse pads. Here we have one that features the Inner Sailor Guardians from Sailor Moon Cosmos. They look very pretty. I love that they are all in their eternal outfits. I also picked up this one, which is the same size, so a little bit smaller than what I usually get for mouse pads, but this one features Sailor Moon all by herself with a less busy uh, background behind her. I don't even know what is in this box. So let's open it together. <laughs> Props to this proxy for packaging everything so well so nothing got damaged. Okay, we got some coasters. We have a portable fan, which I'm totally using this summer. I love my usable items. This is a temperature sensor. This has a temperature sensor setting in it, as well as I believe it's a timer or a clock. I'll have to show you that in a sec. I'm excited to show you that. From the same company, I also got a scale. It's, it's like a weight scale. I'm like slowly turning my entire house into like this Sailor Moon castle. <laughs> I do wonder if if I replace the wiving scale that we currently use, if my husband would even notice that this is Sailor Moon. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Okay, so here we have, it's a Sailor Moon weight scale. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. I love it. So it does come with four, what are these, AA batteries? Or are these AAAs? So it comes with four AAA batteries that I can put in here and go ahead and set it up. It is all written in Chinese, so I will have to use Google, Google Translate to actually set it up, but you know, it's a scale. Scales are pretty much universal. I don't think I'm gonna have to know Chinese in order to use this scale. So I'm definitely gonna put some batteries in here and see if I can figure it out. By the same company is this really cute little timer. And you can tell from the image they have on the front of here in the packaging that it also can sense temperature. So it can show you the temperature. It can show you a percentage. Maybe that's a humidity percentage. The humidity here is extremely low. So I'll be able to tell you very quickly whether or not that's a percentage for humidity. And then we have the time down there at the bottom. This item I had originally skipped, but you know, time passes. And the more I'm like, I really prioritize comfort these days. So I wanted to get this cute little portable fan. I wanted to see if it works well enough to be able to actually use it all the time. But this is by a company called Mira Vivi. They have done a lot of Sailor Moon items. Mira Vivi does some really cute Sailor Moon items. So happy to have this, finally. This is a pair of coasters and it's pretty heavy. So hopefully they arrived nice and safe. Hopefully the packaging kept them safe and kept them from breaking. Yeah, they look just fine. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. So these are really, really nice. I believe they're dolomite coasters, uh, which are the kind of coasters that will just soak up any kind of moisture. Hopefully that's the case here, because if it is, that means these are really nice, high quality coasters. I love the art on the front of them. We have a bunch of sparkles for the Artemis coaster and a galaxy theme for the Luna coaster. They look really good together. Let's continue down the coaster theme since I have a bunch of other coasters that came from some Asian pop-ups. All of these coasters are from recent Sailor Moon Cosmos collabs. These ones in particular are called glitter cup coasters. These are interesting. They have like a rubber, almost like a rubber sleeve that goes around the edges of the coaster all the way around, just probably to protect the edges of the acrylic since this does have liquid inside of them. These have the falling glitter, which I have seen in pins, lots of pins, and I've also seen it in a mirror that released at the Sailor Moon Museum, but now we have coasters that feature the same thing. These aren't going to absorb moisture like a dolomite coaster would, so I would probably use these as a display, like set them up on a cute little display so that they're kind of forward facing. That way you can actually see each of the characters with the glitter behind them. I think that would be really pretty. So one set included Eternal Sailor Moon with some gorgeous multicolored glitter behind her, as well as Mars, Venus, Mercury. This glitter is so much fun to play with. We have Jupiter and the full set of Inner Guardians. Ooh, this silver glitter is really pretty. It has little crescent moons in it. Maybe you can see it. 
Ooh, it's so pretty. And I also got this set of four different acrylic coasters, similar to the other ones, except these don't have see-through bottoms to them. It's just the top, but they still come with these rubber sleeves. So I do like that they have the rubber sleeves since that would keep them from like shifting around or moving whenever you are using them. But just for actual usage, I definitely prefer ones that absorb moisture. Here we have the inner Sailor Guardians as well as the outers. The one with the outers has this like really soft purple, almost like a dust in the background, a floating dust. This one has a very similar glitter to the one that came with the Sailor Moon coaster. The last one I got has gold glitter behind it. So cool. These are so pretty. I love them. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous coasters. What do you think? Do you like collecting coasters like I do? I have one of these already, but I wanted a second one that I could actually use as opposed to just having one in my collection. So this is a perfume bottle with the perfume in it. Uh, don't ask me how I was able to get one shipped over here because this is very rare. It's not necessarily something that's common, but I was able to get a full perfume bottle here in America. So this is the Legendary Silver Crystal Fragrance. It is a natural spray perfume. It comes in this beautiful display box. So I have one of these on display already, but I wanted the perfume to actually use. So this is my second one. It's very fragrant, but it's light. It's not like super overpowering. It does smell kind of like rose. So maybe it is rose, but this came from a company called The Fabulous Shop. So I am very excited to finally have one of these that I can actually use. I know I could use the bottle that's currently in my collection, but I really didn't want to touch it unless I had a second one to use. I do have a couple of charms that I got from Grace Gift in Taiwan. This is a phone charm, and I also got this crossbody phone charm strap. So you can put this around your body and use this as like your purse for your, for your phone. It's kind of cool. If you're only bringing your phone out with you, then that's a super useful thing to have is this crossbody strap just for your phone. If you want to see a review of the items that I got from the most recent Grace Gift Taiwan collection. I didn't buy too much, but I got some of the purses, a few of the shoes, and then those phone straps as well. I'd be more than happy to do a specific video just about those. I hope this is a full set because these are so cute. This is a Sailor Moon plushy full box. I believe it's a full box. There are eight different characters that you could get and these are blind boxes. So since I ordered a full box, I'm really hoping that this will have all eight of the characters in the set. Hopefully none of them are chases because there are eight boxes in here. I'll have to give you the information about this release down below because most of this box is written in Chinese so I can't translate it at the moment. But this comes with eight different character plushies. We have Sailor Moon, Tuxedo Mask, Princess Serenity, Sailor V, and the four inner guardians. So I am ready to unbox some blind boxes. I've been staring at these in my collection room for a little while now, so I'm very excited to unbox them and see them in person. These looked adorable online, so I couldn't wait to actually check them out in person. All right, you ready? Let's do some unboxings. And we have Sailor Moon. Yee! Oh, she is so cute. Oh, and she comes with a little strap so you can hang her up. You can put her on your on your purse or your bag if you wanted to. She's cute. Let's open her. Oh, she's super soft. Wow. I really like how her piggy tails are made out of this super soft fabric her hair is. She's got like those iron-on type of eyeballs. Obviously, this is not a super high quality item since these were blind bags. They were pretty inexpensive, but oh my goodness, she is so cute, so adorable, perfect for an Ita bag. Number two, we got... Ooh, Sailor Mars. What is that on your face, Sailor Mars? It looks like her hair might have been shedding a little bit. Let's get those little pieces off of you, girl. Okay, here we have Sailor Mars. Again, she has that super, super soft hair. Very, very cute, very plushy. We got the little gem in the middle of her bow for her fuku. And I just noticed she has cute little stars for her earrings. That's cute too. Number three, I think it's Mercury. It is, it is, we got Mercury. Does Mercury have earrings? Yes, she does. She's got cute little blue dots for her earrings. Again, we got that super soft hair. I appreciate the attention to detail where the part for her hair is off to the side. Very cute, love it. Oh, she's just adorable. Then we have 
Sailor V. The amount of merchandise that we actually have for Sailor V is so rare, but this is super, super cute. I really like her hair again. She's got a cute little bow in her hair. Oh, I like how they did the hair pieces, like showing you that it's pulled up into a ponytail, but she doesn't necessarily have a ponytail going down. It's just one flat piece of material right there. She does have eyeballs underneath her mask. So if you wanted to remove the mask, you probably could and be able to see her little eyeballs under there. How cute. Ooh, Princess Serenity. Okay, here we have Princess Serenity with her adorable little dress. Princess Serenity's dress does go all the way down to her feet. That's good. That's how it should be. We got that cute bow on the back and her hair looks like it's made very, very similarly to Sailor Moon's hair. Like the same kind of fabric, same kind of like weight to her piggy tails. Super cute all together. Sailor Jupiter. Sailor Jupiter's got a very cute little stone in the middle of her bow. She's got little flowers for her earrings. Nice attention to detail there. And her ponytail looks super adorable as well. Although I don't know if I can get with how these how these balls are sewn on. <laughs> that looks so weird. Oh, Sailor Venus. Here we have Sailor Venus with a little bit of her hair coming apart right there. It's like starting to feather at the bottoms. What is that? Is that just her bangs? Oh my gosh, that's cute. They even stuck a little piece up like it's her bangs flipping up. That's very cute. That's actually really similar to the the character art that you see often. She often has a little piece that flips up right there. She's got that same like one big piece of material for her hair, although it's really soft, it's fun to pet. And she's got her orangish, yellowish uh, fuku on. I feel like this should be a little bit more orange to be specific to her character. Okay, so last but not least, obviously we have Tuxedo Mask. Tuxedo Mask also has some eyes below his mask. Appreciate that. He's got a cute top hat. His top hat is extremely big for the size of this chibi character. Look, like it's the same size as his body. It's huge. <laughs> but of course his head is very big too compared to the actual body of this little plushie. He's got a nice little cape on him. Just adorable overall. All right, so here we have this blind box set of plushies that were only available from mainland Asia. I'm really excited that I own these. I think they're super, super cute. And I feel like I should start an Ita bag just so I can hang these cute little characters off my bag. I have one more item to show you. This is the last couple of phone cases that I have chosen to pick up from The Hood Productions. Now, The Hood has said that this is the last Sailor Moon collaboration that they're doing. I don't know if that's a licensing thing or what, but that's pretty unfortunate because The Hood Productions is the only place that I can get licensed Sailor Moon Galaxy S24 Ultra and Samsung in general cases. Uh, that feature my favorite Sailor Scouts. It's such a shame because I, I'm sure I could find unlicensed cases, but they make such good high quality cases. I would prefer if the hood just kept on making Sailor Moon ones for all my future devices. If you wanna see the hood phone cases for iPhones reviewed, then I would recommend checking out Sailor Tortilla. She's the only other Sailor Moon collector that I know that collects these phone cases, but she has an iPhone. So you can definitely check out her channel to see what she thinks of the iPhone versions. But as far as I know, I'm the only content creator who has reviewed the Sailor Moon Android cases for Samsung. So let's check these out. I really appreciate the attention to detail that they put into the boxes themselves for the phone cases. They both have the same exact print, but they have really lovely window displays. So if you wanna keep these like after you get rid of your phone, you totally could and just like display them in your collection. So these are really nice boxes. And here we have the two newest cases for the Samsung Galaxy line. They did come out with some other ones, but these were my favorite. So here we have this image of Sailor Moon. It says Sailor Moon at the bottom. And we also have this beautiful like doily background that's kind of see-through. The bumper itself is glittery. And I also picked up this one that has all the Sailor Guardians from the 1990s anime with Tokyo Tower in the background. Super pretty. And we also have this glittery pink bumper. They offer other bumper colors, but that one's my favorite. So you can see here that I have one of the older cases that I got from the hood and this one looks excellent too. Like I haven't had any damage to the design on the back. It still looks really nice and high quality. And I've had this on there for quite some time. In fact, I brought this to Japan, dropped it several times. It still looks wonderful. So let's put this on my Samsung phone and see how it looks. I think this would probably look better on 
like a pink phone, but unfortunately we didn't have that color choice this year for the Samsung Galaxy S24 models. It might look good on a white phone though. I have the dark purple one. I still think this looks lovely. I think Sailor Moon really pops against that dark background and it looks wonderful. Uh, the buttons are super, super easy to click. No problems there. And one thing I always like to point out is that yes, you can easily access your S Pen. Very easy to access. We also have the USB-C port is also very easily accessible as well. And let's take a look at the group picture. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this. That one is really cute too. I do think this would look better against a lighter background phone. So this darker background does make it a little bit harder to see what's going on in the background, but the characters are popping. They look great. Again, very easy, clicky, clicky buttons. You can easily access your S Pen and your USB-C port. And I can speak from experience, if you drop your phone and you have it in one of these cases, it should be okay. Now I do put a screen protector on my phone because there's not a lot of leeway between the edges of the phone case itself and the display. So I always protect my display a little bit more, but I've never had an issue with the cameras and I also don't have any cracked screens. So we're doing pretty good so far. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed my mainland Asia unboxing and haul and review. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you saw in this video that you want me to go into more detail about. I'd be more than happy to. And as usual, do not forget to subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos like this one. Stay Stick around for a really, really fun studio tour. I can't wait to show you my entire collection room. It's gorgeous and it looks so good. I'm so proud of it. But until then, make sure to check out the other videos that are available on my channel. Hey, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Jane, sayonara.